so Dave for my meal, we've got braised beef short ribs, celeriac garlic puree, honey carrots and parsnips, and the short ribs come with pancetta and chestnut mushrooms and fondant potatoes. So first thing we're gonna do is season the ribs, give them a good coating. Right, reducing the wine now in the ribs. We'll have the beef stock in a minute. squares and they have to be drained for five minutes to get all the starch off of them. Right, that's all ready. Right, I'm going to put some water on now to get the uh, garlic and celeriac cooked. That will be blended up later with some double cream. If it all goes wrong, at least hopefully I'll get a few marks extra for tidying up as I go along, unlike some of the others that have left every pot and pan out known to man. Well, yeah, I'm all right, I'm in the middle of cooking. So you're going to be on film now, because I'll just sit there in front of the camera. Yeah, okay. All right, then we're going to be ready to wait anyway, so that's Ellie asking me where the dinner is. So what we do is when we cook the uh, garlic, we have to cook it probably about three times and then run it under cold water, because it takes the welly out of it, so it's a bit more milder tasting, it doesn't taste as strong. We do that a few times and that'll be fine. Garlic, celeria, some salt in the pan for them. Take the garlic now, and we'll put that through the cold water, and we'll put it back in again to the soft. vegetables ready. They're going to be steamed vegetables in baking parchment with herbs. I've made this twice the size 
so that it can fold over and wrap up so it cooks in its own steam. But basically all I've got here, five carrots, six parsnips, I'm going to put a bit of veg oil over them. Salt and pepper. And some thyme and oregano. Push the little bits off the stalk and they should all come off. Good. It's going to be a nice press back in the bag. Is that something else? And get off the stalk. What we're going to do is crimp all this up and fold it over so that none of the steam can escape. Probably use a bit too much. Grease through paper, tear a bit off. And that should hold tight, good enough to cook. I'll go in half hour before the end, so I'll set the timer on that. And all I need to do is chop up some flat leaf parsley for the top of the beef roots. In fact, that bit of baking parchment can use that because that will be going over this pan for the fondant potatoes. Just make sure they all fit on there. Absolutely fine. So, there we go. Right, let's get that ready. Just work out the timings. Three sprigs of thyme for the fondant potatoes. Right. It's going far too easy, so I'm going to have a glass of wine on that. Let's see how things are cooking. time. Right, we're all good to go. We've got about a 20 minute break, which is good. I got all this for about, fifth, mine was about 56, 57 quid. So you're going to be weighing the most expensive? Yeah, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. But I probably bought, I'm, I'm, I'm going to feed you in, in, feed in terms of quantity oh, right. as well as hopefully quality. Pom fondant. I was going to say fondant potatoes are on the cards then. Yeah, they were fun cutting. You're yeah, only supposed to have one of them each, but I think I'll stop that too. I can't see anything. It smells nice though. Yeah, it smells nice though. See me have a little parcel over there? I can see a parcel yeah. of something, yeah. Right, time for veg to go in now. Put the veg on. Another glass of wine there. Eh? Right, let's get the potatoes going. Pomme fondant, bit of olive oil. Let's get that nice and hot. Let's get the extractor going. There we go. So,
So that's the fondant potato is cooking. They're in like a beef, beef stock and they're simmering away. So they should take about 20 minutes. Now I've got the lard on that's going. And then once they're cooked, because they've got salt in them, I can put the mushrooms in on top of these once they're browned. The old fat's rendering away nicely there, so the uh, mushrooms will go in soon. Now we'll put in the uh, salt of the bacon fat. Let them cook nicely. What did that say at the top? Lord. Lord. I'm going for the points. Yeah, that, that, that's almost mine. Oh, come on, buddy. Oh, what have you put right. on? What, have you, what you've got is... Uh, Why does yours say Bono? Yeah, mine says Bono. What? Bono Callum Williams. It sort of looked like Bono, but it's Lord. Yeah. That's well, your right. beans are a bit... Yeah, they're a bit wrong. Your ends are drunk, isn't yeah. it? Yeah, so, you've already got the braised beef short ribs yeah. with um, fondant potatoes. You have got braised parsnip and carrot in um, thyme. You've got mushrooms and pancetta, and then you've got celeriac and uh, garlic. Um, what's it on the side? What's celeriac? So a vegetable. Really vegetable. That looks nice. And what's your sauce? And there's a, a, a beef, a very beefy, beefy sauce. Is that just oil? Is that what it's supposed to be? Yeah, it looks a bit no. watery. It's not, trust me, that is super beefy. <laughs> <laughs> 
Oh, I'll have it if you don't want it. I might just you said this is short rib, right? Yeah. Yeah, I don't know why I, I knew you was making it. I don't know why I forgot. How much you knew Dad was making it? Well, I knew Dad was making some sort of ribs because I saw the ribs. What are the potatoes? Fine, dude, potatoes. What does that mean? They're like soft. Aaron's gone by. They're not, they're not Hasselback in any way, shape or form. <laughs> uh, everything's really salty. Salty? Mm. It's nice. And what's this uh, white, uh, white sauce here? That's the and garlic puree. Yeah. How's the leek? Leek, nice. Where do you get it from? Oh. Butchers. Oh, the hill butchers. Hey, Jim, where did you get your meat? When you did the curry. Same <laughs> I actually got my own phone. Where did you get your seed bath? Yeah, no, that's what, that's what I was saying to him earlier. When he said he got it from the butchers, I was like, mm hmm. I like mash. Or the well, mash. 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 But puree. That was the food last night at the hotel. Nice. Are you always saying home at the same hotel? Um, not always, but we have the last couple of weeks, but we're in somewhere different next week. It took a bit out of your plate. It goes really nice with the food. We'll do that one. Yeah, put it in the middle panel, we'll just add it. I do have to say that the presentation was good as well. Thank you. Uh, it feels really nice. Much better than pork belly, that's for sure. Well, but all the fat pretty much renders down. So, so was that it, did Mum told you doesn't like pork belly? No. Yeah. Well, Dad asked me if I like pork belly, but didn't tell me why, and I said I don't. What's wrong with it? Too it's fat. Fatty. Did you like the potatoes? Yeah, that was nice. Very good meal. Cook like that more often, I'd say you're a better chef. <laughs> it took him three hours. Well, the prep, the prep took, the, took the hour and a half. The rest of it, I was chilling out a bit, weren't I? It didn't come to the last hour. I had a feeling. I'm not saying I will win, but if I Probably. do win. No, 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 no. I, I, I no, 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 no. The whole point is that you don't talk about I'm not talking, you, you don't do. even know what I'm about to say. Go on then. I'm, I'm talking Callum, you've got all the decorum of a your, reverse dump truck. Your, 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 I feel like your mindset, especially you, Callum, is going to be, oh yeah, mum and dad have just been nice. Oh, they've probably just gave their points to them anyway. Stop trying to predict what's going to happen. Wait, so you already know that we're well, going to say that mum and dad pay you and give you yeah. extra points? Yeah. He's not denying it. Yeah, There's some more of the celeriac. I didn't think you'd like it, so I only gave you a little bit. If mum and dad have given you a four, I'm not going to go, oh yeah, there's been baby and song there. Which like, I don't like it is, though, you've probably got 11. <laughs> in, that, in that sauce there, there is no oil in it whatsoever. Are you sure? Oh, I don't know, Dad. My plate is sure. Right? I'm sure. Oh. There it is. You've only got to look at your plate. No, orange bit is oil. It's not. Dad, what is that then? It's just Jew. What did you make it? It's Jew. What about it? It's meat juices. Yeah, well that's oil, isn't it? <laughs> that's all the rendered fat. And you've got chestnut mushrooms as well. What do you do to meat in? What's the other one? Red wine. Um, beef stock. And uh, for two and a half hours, once it was sealed. I think one rib would have been a bit too tight, wouldn't it? I only have one rib. I gave two, two to everyone. No, I only have one. A cut, a cut only one bone? No, one didn't have a bone. No, that, there was only one on the plate. No, that, that's, I literally made that cut. No, I, I cut it into ten. Maybe the small one. They all look equally sized. I gave everyone a big one and everyone a small one. There was one small one that was very small. Probably disintegrated. There's a lot of fat on there, isn't there? Not mine. Yeah, that's the one. That's the one. Yeah, 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 that's the Enjoy it though. No, I like it. Do you not like mushrooms? No, bro. That's a minor thing. Damn. Bro, quite a varied range of meals to be there. Yeah. Mm. One of my fondant potatoes was not cooked. No, one of mine was but one hard. Was, one wasn't. Yeah, I had a hard one. This mm. one's hard on the inside. Oh no. They were all the same size. You've got a position in the oven. It's fancy, look. Mine's not oh. crunchy, but like the outside's really soft, and you get to the centre and it's like hard. Oh man, mine both are like that. To be fair, I didn't even think about it, I was just shot the edges. 
Yeah, to be fair, I was star I was starving, so you were aware I was eating. I've got soup in the sand. Oh yeah, this one in the bag. Three hours. She's not looking good, bro. I'll have mushrooms, whoever's not eating this. Me and AJ? I've eaten mine. Oh, I'll see you Yeah, mate, what are you doing? <laughs> oh, you like the lard on them? Yeah. Hmm? Did you ever not have a fatty one in the potato pan? Right, you have to separate the oil from the cooking meat. Or so did you like the celeriac garlic thing? Yeah, that was nice. Did you oh, really? Yeah. Oh, Aaron? So it's not really fair when you're cooking for a fatty eater, is it? But we've all had that. Well, we've all had the same thing. We've all had to cook for the same thing. That's why you've got to play cards, right? I thought beef, that's up Aaron Street. Mushrooms, that's up the street, no. Lardons, yes. Well, that's, that's why I like, if I was, if I, if I won a competition, I would have cooked my curry vegan, but I was like, that ain't gonna get any points. That's why I cooked it lamb. I, I worked out that what, at least one person isn't gonna like. Yeah. I was trying to think of everything. But I think if you try and like over complicate it, that's when you can easily lose points. That's why I went simple. Yeah, to be fair, yours was a very strong opener, and I was not expecting that. Oh, oh that's great. Goodness. That is just pure is oil. Clean. The thing is, that's, that's going to be sitting in the living room with a little bit. Oh, my dinky belly. Oh, oh I'm going to get that high oh. cholesterol. Have you forgot to put on the plate? Oh, just a bit of like chopped fresh parsley. On oh, that would have done it. You can't have that now. You can't have that now. I forgot the sesame seeds, so you won't need anymore. You can't have that now. That would have done it. Could have, should have, would have. That's knocked it down from a six to a five. And do you know what? The other, even worse than that. Not the eggs, if you forgot them. I forgot to use the potato rice up. What the thing he bought for his potatoes? Yeah, he didn't the, do it. Uh, <coughs> what's it in the garlic fruit so it was super smooth? <laughs> <laughs> I enjoyed it. Yeah, it was so nice. Done. And if everyone was playing the game properly, you wouldn't have a clue about what people were going to vote yet. <sighs> I think everyone is playing the game properly. I was going to say, everyone is playing the game properly. He means me. There's empty plates. Everyone's been frozen. Exactly. Exactly. already. Yeah, empty plates other than you eat Digs are perfectly fine. Digs mean nothing you in the score. You're to keep your cards close to your chest, though. I've, I found it quite hurtful, the Digs, today. <laughs> oh, yeah, but it was alright for you to do Digs. You're not getting sympathy points. It was alright for you to do Digs. Like, 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 that's going to no. be going about his upbringing, isn't it? No, what happened was, it, it was, was all more pleasant and polite poor 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 until someone said, Tell you it's a bit hard, and I think it was you, Ellen, and my lovely dearest <laughs> wife that started off, and then, yeah, so well, I, see, oh, I couldn't right. eat it all. Yeah, I couldn't eat it all because it was a bit. Oh, yeah, you can even see that. I was always on the floor. You pinged off the plate. That's an end bit. Oh, well. brain, you might have an end bit, it's all right. Oh, and he's bang out. Mine weren't like that, to be fair. At least I didn't spit mine out. Mine were cooked, but I might get a KFC after this. <laughs> I might join you to be. Edit. <laughs> you want some hot wings? Mm -hmm. You'll all be clearing up first, though, of course. Yeah, that goes by the. That, that, that's, I think I've cleared up. A, a, no, show. apart from the last one, because I was out. Aaron, the oh, ironic thing is, you, you, during the video. You didn't, you didn't see Slimming <laughs> Callum's. Yeah. Callum's was the. I've never seen this kitchen look as bad as when Callum left. Well, I had a little faux pas earlier. I was mooling in it, and I took the lid off. <laughs> <laughs> so I've got most of it off. Uh, but I really have not seen this kitchen ever, even when we've like, No, I bet Tom used every utensil in the kitchen. So I, I, I found new utensils. Right. I'm going to say, Callum, Callum bought lots of utensils. In actual fact, that, that's pretty good. Mine is and yours is the best left kitchen. Mine is you had a pot and a pan. That's all going to go in one dishwasher, that is. Yeah, well, it's a shame I've only got a fire that oh, Hold up, mate, a dessert. That will be good. Good. Oh, good. I, I yeah. made a side dish. What, and what was that Aaron, side dish? Oh, oh, flipping out. Aaron, I've made... What did you make? Nothing. I've oh, made a bit with you, and I... You know what, it almost makes up for the paste that you got and the mango chutney yeah. that the, you bought. The carrots and parsnips in the uh, herbs, Not me, the fondant potatoes... That. So, all I'd like to say is think about complexity in the menu. <sighs> and like I said, when you try and go too complex, then you start messing up. Because you get the simple things like potatoes wrong. 
My fond of potatoes were very fond of them. No, my mum was good. His was good as well. Cherry picked your. But you can tell that they didn't all pass the test. So judge it on what you ate. And you. I mean, if, we, if we'd have had the Sunday roasties, the oh, Sunday's roasties, that would have been the which were ultimately crispy, yeah. were they not? The straight Sunday's thing. roasties. They were nice. They were the best yeah. roasties for a long while. But they it's yours. the first time I've cooked these, they were mine. Oh, right. Christ, so all you wanted was a bit of beef with some roast potatoes, and I would I'm have been chopped down. <laughs> I'm a simple man. You're forgetting the people that you're cooking for, Dad, which oh, is actually well, quite rude, well. so that's a minus point. That's a little bit of work, and you, and you called me Lono. Uh, Lono. <laughs> what, what are you saying? I'm trying to work out. What can't you read? It's the R's. It's like, the R's. No, it's the D's. Like, what's the D's? Well, what is that? Yeah, what is that? Yeah, it's the R's. It's the R's. The R's look like N's. Loro Callum Rollins. Well, no, no, you nearly spelled it second, right? Alex, have another go. Quite bad. I think I had one that was just fat. There is a lot of fat on. On your yeah, you got yeah. you got to trim it. Yeah, but the beef one. beef ribs are by yeah, their own. Yeah, but you got to trim it. No, you don't trim it because you do. They cook in that, otherwise they'll be. No, you don't trim all the fat. Off. You, you you don't you trim, trim all of it. Yeah. All I know is I tried my best. Yeah. Well, you're not getting you're not getting sometimes best isn't good enough. It's very tasty. Whether it's the winning meal, who knows? That's one sugar that chat to one. Yeah, I know. Oh, yeah. I'm, not, I'm not having it from the guy that bought a haze. <laughs> he forgot how to breathe. <laughs> I'm not having it from the guy that got half of his meal from a... Work, work smart, not hard. Yeah, work, work smart. smart. I thought that's what I was hard. doing this evening. No, you worked hard. There's three hour recording on my phone. You no, worked hard. Yeah, but I, I stopped after an hour and a half and went in and watched TV with Matt. <laughs> Fair enough. So the camera's just been recorded. Yeah. Nothing's happened. No. <laughs> That's why I cut it out. Right. Clear enough. Still quite hungry. There's some more. I might make some eggy bread. Yeah. No, you, that's, that's, now that's hurtful to say that. <laughs> that's not, that's not, that's not feedback. That's snidey feedback. Right, Greg's dinner. A very nice thought out meal. For me, one of the ribs was a bit chewy. The other one was really soft and tender. My fondant potatoes weren't cooked properly. They were still very crunchy and almost raw in the middle. I would have liked a bit more of the veg. I really liked the carrot and the parsnip. I could have done with a couple of each of them. That would have been really nice. And obviously there was a bit of an issue with the gravy, obviously with the amount of fat that was in it, it wasn't separated out. So with that in mind, I'm going to give Greg a solid Thanks very much. All right. I, uh, I enjoyed Dad's meal tonight. The beef was really, really nice. And for me, like, had a perfect amount of sort of fat on it as well. It wasn't too fatty. But all the veg was lovely and the celeriac and garlic dip he made was really nice. Although Mum's potatoes were raw, I think I thought was on my plate and the potatoes were really nice as well. The only thing for me was that the gravy was very, very, very oily. So I didn't really have any of it. Possibly I would have liked the meat to have been a bit more tender, but I think that is just clutching at straws there. So overall it was a really nice meal, and I'm gonna give Dad an eight. So, I like the concept of the meal. Um, I'm, I've never been a big fan of roast dinners anyway. The beef was nice. One of the ribs was uh, probably 80, 90% fat, so I'm still hungry. Potatoes were nice. The first one was absolutely gorgeous, but the second one was like undercooked. So the middle was like really crunchy, whereas the outside was like really soft. The one carrot was really nice, seasoned really nice. Um, I'm not a big fan of mushrooms uh, or parsnips or celiac or whatever the sauce was. The little gravy boat thing was really, really oily. Like I dipped, I dipped a big chunk of beef into it um, but it just it just tasted like oil like it didn't it didn't really taste of anything I know it's supposed to be like the meat juices and stuff but it didn't it didn't really have a taste to it I mean the little name place card things they were a good touch and obviously the wine as a drink yeah I think I feel like it was a good it was a good like concept of a meal but there wasn't much meat 
the potatoes were nice, they were good, but obviously not 100%. So I feel like there was this over complication of the meal, which didn't really help. So because of that, giving him a solid five. It wasn't really a bit of me, but it's like I would eat it, but it wouldn't fill me up kind of thing. I am here to judge Dad's meal today, braised beef. I think it was a good meal, nice meal. Presentation was good. Beef was cooked perfectly. We just say he didn't. I would trim a little bit of fat off because it does have a lot of fat. Gravy for it was okay. It was a bit oily. Like when I put it on my plate, you could see all the oil. It was like yellow. The veg was nice. I don't really like mushrooms, so I didn't have them. Then the potatoes were good. I had one that was soft, which they were meant to be, and then I had one that was a little bit harder than the other. Yeah, presentation was very good, so I'm gonna give it seven out of 10.